Well, it is June 29th. It's Wednesday. It's uh, day, oh, I don't know what number of day it is for the protests and the strikes. Day 14, 13, 14, something like that. I went to Mega Maxi this morning after breakfast and I noticed that the shelving that holds all the sandwich meat and all that stuff is fully stocked. There were, they were stocking the poultry section as I was there this morning. There, I didn't see any beef being put in anywhere. So there's no beef here at Mega Maxi. There's probably beef at some of the other tiendas and, and also at Corral Supermarket on the other side of Monta. So a lot of people ask me why I don't go to Corral because Corral is like a $5 taxi ride from here, you know, and, and then back. And so it's like, sorry, I was interrupted by a phone call. I, somebody needed some help with, uh, something on their computer. But anyway, this is an update. This is update number seven on the Roblox. As I was saying, I went to Mega Maxi this morning and it looks to me like they're gradually getting stuff back in. The, there were no eggs. There was bread. There was some produce, but not like they normally had. Like there's no lettuce and no leafy stuff in them. Uh, they had some fruits, they had some cantaloupe, but it didn't look good. They had some potatoes didn't really look all that great either. But I mean, food is food, right? So I mean, I would I would eat it. As far as meats were concerned, they were stocking chicken. It looked like they had packaged chicken breast. I didn't see anything else. There's no red meat anywhere. There's a, they're running out of my wine. <laughs> so, but I can do without that. I don't have to have it. So. I, as far as I, well, let me put this way. I wrote to a friend of mine in Coenca because yesterday they had all the blocks in Coenca and the protests and the taxi drivers were parked and just parked in the street. And I'm gonna to read to you what uh, my friend Mark wrote to me. Uh, I'm not gonna give his last name out just for privacy sake, but he wrote to me. I wrote to him this morning and asked him if everything was okay and if he was okay. He was a gentleman that I met when I was in Quinka the first year, a super nice guy, expat, former military, can't, salt of the earth type of guy. I, I, you can't meet a better person, in my opinion. Uh, well, besides me. <laughs> he wrote back, after, he, after I wrote to him, he wrote back, yes, we are all fine. I walked around the last two days and didn't really see much. A lot of places are shutting down due to lack of propane or gas or basic supplies for restaurants. That's like uh, yesterday, the, the Sunrise Cafe, the famous cafe for expats there in Cuenca, they did not open because of the protests and the block roadblocks and so forth. He said, but there are still quite a few little tiendas with items. I went to the Mercado yesterday and they still have some vegetables, fruits and eggs and some meat. Most limit themselves to Super Maxi or watch a few little protests here and there and exacerbate it, I felt. I danger, whoops, I don't know, he said danger anywhere. He didn't see any danger anywhere. Most of the people that march do just that. They walk around, but didn't see a lot of violence. We still have power, water, internet, so things aren't bad. I am sure there are sporadic flare-ups, and I read about some issues with oxygen at the hospitals, but like anything, the most destructive pictures sell and get clicks. The public transportation, buses, taxis, Tranvia shut down yesterday from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. And while I was walking around, you could see all the buses lined up, parked on the side of the road, and the taxis blocking the main intersections, traffic circles. And you can see the pictures that I'm posting here as, as I'm reading this, folks. But those guys were sitting around playing cards, not causing trouble. There are some long lines at the gas stations for those who drive, but they seem to be still getting it eventually. After 5 p.m. yesterday, the traffic was going again and taxis were driving around. They postponed garbage pickups until next week just as a precaution. And he thanked me for my concern and I'm glad to know that he is okay. His girlfriend's okay. He has another friend that he introduced me to, a good friend of his, his name is Jeff. I'm glad to hear that they're all okay. The, the greatest impact of this whole strike is in Quito and in Cuenca and the surrounding areas, all the, the roads that lead in and out of these places. Some people are riding 
in some of the newspapers, newspaper articles, if you look at the comments, like if you look at the, the articles today from Cuenca High Life, there are some people that left comments and they look to me like expat names, I, but you know, I don't, I'm not saying that they are, it just looks like they look like typical American names. But they're advocating, you know, one shot and everybody will scatter, you know, shoot them all and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, folks, we, we as expats, we don't need to get involved in this and we don't want to interfere. So all we can do is be patient. I think if we just wait it out, we're going to be okay. I still don't recommend flying into Quito or Cuenca right now. I would wait if you can postpone your trip for maybe just another week. Then we'll see what happens. According to other sources that I have, the Konei leadership is they're they're talking. You know, they're they're trying to talk now. I'm getting reports from people that have experienced this in the past, all saying that they're starting to see signs like they saw during these in the past that they're getting tired and they're ready. They're probably getting ready to call it off and get out and go home. You know, so that's all we can do: is sit and wait and be patient. We don't need to interfere. And of course, as you know, I'm not, I'm not allowing much debate in my comment section. The whole purpose of these debates is just to let you know what's going on with roadblocks. I looked at the ECU 911 report this morning, and I actually only saw one roadblock due to demonstrations in all of the country. There were a lot yesterday. So maybe it's settling down. Maybe it's going to come to an end. We're seeing more food, you know. Uh, we just have to hope and pray that they work this out somehow. According to Cuenca High Life, the oil fields have all shut down just out of safety and security, not because of so much violence. There are a, a few people have approached some of these sites, but they're well guarded and well taken care of. And so right now oil production is halted. You know, that's really about all I can say about it. Read, if you want to know more, read, follow the links in the description and the Facebook page, Mark Bradbury's Facebook page, and you can see what people are saying. Don't just listen to me. There are some people that are sending me comments and telling me that I should follow Mr. Second Passport uh, because he's talking a lot about this and he talks a lot about the political ramifications and why this is happening and so forth. And, and that's fine, that's his business, that's his channel. He can do that. I don't per personally follow Mr. Second Passport Please don't send me emails and comments suggesting that I watch him. He has his opinions about Ecuador and I have mine. So I'm not saying that to discourage anybody. You're free to watch anybody you want to watch. But I'm just trying to keep everybody up to date on what's going on with travel in and out of Ecuador. Right now, I still advise that you wait at least a week before you come in. That's all I have to say for this one. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, or you can send me an email. I answer all my emails, so I'll answer whatever I can. And the only thing that I will give, the only information that I will give you will only be the truth. And anything, everything, anything that's verifiable from a credible news source. I'm not going to give you anything else, okay? Have a great day, folks. Thanks for watching. I love you, and I appreciate you watching my channel. And I will see you on the next one. And don't forget, I have an interview coming up with Stella Culture tomorrow. I'll have it posted sometime between tomorrow and hmm, Monday or so. So, and she and I will be talking about rentals, renting here in Ecuador, renting here in Monte. It's gonna be a good interview. So, until then, be safe, and please be smart too, okay, in regards to traveling. Ciao. A couple of people recently have told me that I look better in person than I do on video, so I decided to make an adjustment. What do you think? Will this work? Is this better?